to get to baptize one of your daughters is a privilege and an honor. It's special. To get to baptize two uh, is unthinkable. And, you know, as, as dads, as pastors and ministers, we don't always get it right. But standing here tonight with Natalie and getting the opportunity to baptize her means we've done something right somewhere. And so I'm very honored and I'm excited. Natalie, have you given your life to Christ? Christ, Christ is one. It's Christ is this. It's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Richard. We also call him Noodle. <laughs> Don't know where Noodle came from, amen, but that's what we call him now. He's been attending our youth ministry, and uh, he's a blessing to Tia and I, and a blessing to the rest of our kids. Noodle, if you would, face Miss Stacy. Have you given your life to Christ? Okay. It's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Next up, we got Mr. Alex. Alex has not been in our youth ministry very long, but he has been consistent for the past month or so, and uh, we know that God has big plans for him and that he's going to use him in a mighty way. Leon is a special kid. They're all special. But you know, we, uh, we, <laughs> we all at some point can connect with others more so than the next. And De Leon's smile lights up the room. He's got a humble, gentle spirit. And uh, he's a good ball player. And uh, he's a good kid. And he blesses me each and every Wednesday night. Miss Katie, amen. Miss Katie has a gentle spirit. She's involved with cheer. Uh, she's a dancer. Uh, uh, anything else you want to add? No? No. When she walks into the room, she lights it up, and uh, it's a joy to baptize her tonight. Devante Carmichael. Hey, I want to tell you something. Uh, Devante is a fighter. He's tough as nails. And uh, he's got two brothers. One of them was baptized tonight. And the other one's James. We're still sowing seeds into James' life. And I'm very proud of Devante. Uh, football players have nicknames. This was Petey. <laughs> okay. So. Miss Kaylee is making her way into the baptistry. Miss Kaylee is also uh, fairly new to our youth ministries. And I can tell you that 
a sign of growth in youth ministry is always having visitors. Every time you look around, you see somebody new you hadn't yet met. And Kaylee's fresh on our roster in our youth ministry. And I know that God has great plans for you. Kaylee, uh, have you given your life to Jesus? I'm honored to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on down here, Andrew Bird. Andrew's a hard worker. Andrew's always texting me, sometimes at 1 a.m. Amen. And that's okay. I usually wait till the next morning. Say I, I was asleep. But uh, uh, Andrew's a hard worker. And um, he loves the Lord. There's, and, and I hope you don't mind me sharing this, but there's hardly an altar call that's given that Andrew won't go and lay his heart down at the altar. That's a sign of somebody that's hungry and that's spiritually mature in Christ. For that, I'm blessed. Amen. Bless me, sir. making his way into the baptistry. Dakota's also a hard worker. Means very much to me personally and means much to our youth group. He's a leader. He's brought several with him. Uh, we've grown just on account of him coming and others wanting to come along with him. So let's face Miss Stacy right here. Dakota, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yes, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are running out of water up here. Oh, yes. Come on down here, Miss Marley. Miss Marley's very involved at B.B. Comer High School, and she too has, has, and you heard her. You heard her just earlier when she spoke. Very good grateful, humble spirit, mature in the Lord. She has a hunger, and I believe firmly that she's going to be one of our leaders for the rest of her tenure in our youth ministry. Marley, if you would, face me, Stacy. I want to ask you, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. And it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Listen, this doesn't get old to me. It does not get old to me. Miss Joni has joined us in the baptistry. Miss Joni has been a part of our youth ministry for, uh, I don't know, maybe six months now and has participated in car washes, has also gone uh, to youth convention. Went on that, did you go to youth convention? Well, nonetheless, she's been with us for six months and uh, she blesses us each and every Wednesday night. Miss Stacy, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. And it's my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Miss Ella loves the Lord. She blesses us each Wednesday night. She always has a smile on her face, a shy, mischievous looking grin. And I can tell you that Tia and I are blessed to be her youth pastor. Amen. You would face me, Stacy. Miss Ella, have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. Praise the name. It's my honor to baptize you tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, I, I want to.
it to be known as this big guy comes in here that I am nervous. I am nervous. I need supernatural strength. Stretch your hands toward the youth pastor right now. I am, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, Zach Carpenter uh, is a football player. He's a basketball player. He's a leader in his school. He uh, always has a, uh, a positive attitude. He's a winner. He's a fighter. And um, I know that God wants to use him in a Joshua type of way, in a, in a Caleb type of way, where when everybody thinks that we can't do it, you got Joshua's and Caleb in the room that say, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. And I think Zach holds that anointing within his spirit. And tonight we're going to baptize him in water. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 